Hi Luminaires, how are you doing? Happy Wednesday, hump day, middle of the week day, great day, best day, because you're living it and you're in the moment. And hopefully you are gathering yourself together to find a candle or find some kind of flame because after we touch base and I answer a few questions, we're going to do a monotasking exercise where we are going to be in mantra together. So I hope you can find a place where you can speak out because I do want you to vocalize this one. We're not gonna be yelling or anything like that. Like we did in Kundalini this morning with Lee Malice. We yelled for like two minutes. It was insane. <laughs> I have to tell you, it was a little weird. Hi, Fabiana. Hi, Adrian. Nice to see you here. Hello, Miss Garfinkel. Mary Lloyd. You guys will know this exercise. We did this in class. I like to do this in my advanced channeling class to help you monotask. Just kind of pull your brain in and stop trying to figure out everything in the world. Kind of ramble, get into vicious cycles, which my head has been doing today quite a bit. Um, Jillian, super lazy day. It's been great. I love it. Hi, Carolyn Spear, David, oh, Nancy and Kurt. Hi, Nancy. Craig Pace, you guys are wonderful. Hi, Vicki. Mary Grace. Kurt Ellie is here. Yay. Hi, Angela Black. You guys are rolling in. You guys ready to like expand your energy field? Like really feel the connection to all that is? If you're looking for that kind of like um, bump, do you know like after you have those aha moments and like your whole body is like, oh my God, I totally get it and I understand or that really happened. It's like this little expansive like energy bomb went off in your heart and you can feel everything and it's going smooth and you're connected. It's like and you want to hold on to it for a longer, this exercise can give you that. Not to like hype it up or anything. It's pretty awesome though. <laughs> Courteous is here. <laughs> Kurt, you're cracking me up. Elmer. Hi, Lou. Hi again. Thank you. I wondered that when I said it before because I call my daughter Lou. Hi, Shelly. Lud Johnson, Laura D. Mary Anderson, it's good to see you again. Same with Jennifer, Miss Newton. Michaela, hi, it's good to see you. Linda, yo, Madeline, it takes focused intention to stay positive. Ah, oh, type it out. Tell me about it. It does. Focused attention. Intention is attention, and that's what we need. Hi, Heidi. Can't wait. Okay, greetings from Sweden. Hi, Lena. Oh, you guys are beautiful. Linda, Elsie, everybody's here. <laughs> that is the wildest comment. I'm so glad I incarnated the same time as you. The thing I love about that so much is that you didn't say reincarnated. You just said incarnated, which is like, <sighs> that hits my like time button. I love it. Hi, Linda from Michigan and Beth from South Carolina. Everybody's showing up. So if you've just logged in, I'd like for you to find some sort of flame, whether it is a candle or we're going to be using today a tiny hurricane lamp. I need you to go find a flame, not like a lover or anything like that, just fire. Because that's gonna be your focus as we do this exercise. So before we get into the exercise, I'd like to know, how are you doing? Do you have any questions? Because I have been watching some really cool stuff, um, you know, besides the lovely Mr. Eckhart Tolle, uh, Dr. Thomas Corwin, who's been talking about the 5G, and in his research, he has been able to link the increase in electrical magnetic fields to um, 
widespread viruses and um, pandemics. So I thought that was pretty cool to listen to, kind of where where all of this happened and in Wuhan. And I started thinking, well, Spirit, you keep saying this is animal related and animal related, not man made. And to me, 5G is man made. So I got pretty rowdy in my head today. And they're like, no, 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 no. This is perfect storm. You know, we had animal made crossed over. We have weakened immune systems from 5G, from our bodies being in EMF fields intensely and kind of laid it out where it started to make sense. And then kind of the one thing I get excited about, which is, I mean, it's not a good thing to be excited about it, but the whole hundredth monkey, whereas we cannot trace someone who has traveled in an airplane from point A to point B to carry this virus, but yet the virus is showing up. So there's something to be said there. This is a mass and global hundredth monkey experience that we're all going to go through, um, whether we're going through the actual symptoms uh, or not, we're all in this together. So I'm, I was pretty excited. Maybe I'll, I'll find the video and see if I can post it. Some of you will watch it and just go, total BS, please. <laughs> and then some people will go, well, that's quite interesting. I think it's worth looking into. And some will go, that's exactly how I feel. And that's one thing that I like to honor here is that we all come from different belief systems, religious systems, spiritual systems. And I'm not here to try to change that in anyone. I am here because I enjoy energy, the education of energy, subtle light energy that creates all of who we are, and just trying to help you connect to that so that you can enjoy your abilities, your natural intuitive abilities. And how big you want that to be is going to be up to you. If you're a Mozart, or if you're playing Mary Had a Little Lamb, or you're just watching somebody else play Mary Had a Little Lamb, <laughs> it's going to be up to you. Okay. <laughs> Lou, you are so sweet. Ooh, China. Hi, Jamie. Hi, China Reese. Hello, and thank you for the lives, the live streams. You're welcome, Angela. Love your energy, says Melinda. Thank you very much. I work on it. I do. I clean my energy every night. I set my intention when I wake up. Before I open my eyes, I stay still and I listen, I follow my breath. I stay in that kind of hypnagogic state between alert and sleep. Is that in between? And spirit is there. It's like this beautiful morning fog in your soul and you get to kind of regroup and kind of pull in what you've been dreaming about and what you've been downloading in the evening into your day. And then I choose from that moment on when my feet hit the ground that I'm gonna have a smile on my face because if I don't, I won't experience the level of joys. It does take some kind of focus. And it doesn't mean that I'm lying to myself or just seeing the glass half full. It means I'm creating an experience for myself and I'm building a relationship to what it means to be joyful and happy, even in times of sorrow, grief, tragedy, and hardship. And there's nothing wrong. I give myself permission as well as others to hold the light in a high vibration when we're going through hard times. Sounds like a pep talk, right? I give to myself. That's really what it sounds like in the morning. You're okay. <laughs> Bonita. My concern is how many in the U.S. are supporting opening the economy over valuing human life. Bonita, sing it. That is a very strong concern. Um, when our president that we currently have, our last election. You know, my one thing was saying we need to vote for humanity. I just saw it in a different way, but um, our president has definitely given us an opportunity to really pull everyone together and find our voices. So there's a bonus to that. But yes, I have concern. So energetically, when we break down concern, concern is similar to worry, but different. Worry is like this vibration, it, it doesn't know where to go. It doesn't know how to problem solve it. It doesn't know what to give to the situation. It's just chaotic because it's like, 
I don't know what the outcome is and I don't know where to show up and I don't know what to do, but I'm going to give you my worry. And um, what that does is it will convolute, is that the word? I can hear it in my head, but my mouth doesn't want to pronounce it right. It will mix up what that situation is and it won't unfold to its best outcome because you're giving it this really random vibration and it creates confusion. Concern is, I know what I want to see, but I don't feel in control enough or in a good enough position or a strong position to be able to influence. So a concern is still, I have too much distance between this, but I know what the outcome is. So when we have concern, I think it's a great highlighter of where we want to see our energy unfold and how we want to see things to work. After we have our concern, I would then say, focus on what you want the outcome to be, right? So in this case, it is valuing human life. So then I would give three minutes of great intent into valuing all human life. But for me, I think I would give great intent into valuing all life. Trees, plants, insects, animals. But it's a good thing. Is it Sierra? I'll do the flame exercise tomorrow. I'm in bed. And flames and mattresses are not friends. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're friends. <laughs> so happy to catch a live. Hi, Anita. I'm so happy you're here too. <laughs> Yvette, can you adopt me? Oh my God, wouldn't that be fun? Well, you are officially a luminaire. We are part of a family. We can consider that adopting. Thank you so much for loving the mini lessons. I've had a good time showing you guys how I teach and what I teach. Um, I would love, I am making this the next phase in my career is educating you so that you guys are empowered and you can turn around to your family, your friends, your children and show them how like aligned you are with your intuitive self. This is a natural ability and we've spent a long time getting away from it and now we're going to spend some solid time getting close to it. And I want to be that teacher. Yay, Kurt's looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow we're having a live stream channeling. I'll be at the office um, because I can't do it here. We're on top of each other. As you see, I'm like huddled in a playroom <laughs> and crafting right now. Rob Holmes, I'm squeezing you so hard. You are the light and the darkness, Jamie. Rob, there are many of us that are lighting up this darkness. You are one of them. I'd say everyone who's gathered here, you hold a light that are having a hard time maybe seeing or getting a hold of. Daniela, love how you teach on the fly, ready to teach monotasking and meditation on the flame and start teaching about concern. So many people are super grateful for you sharing so generously. Thank you very much for saying that. <laughs> I like the teaching on the fly part. I got up and I'm like, what? What is it going to be? Yesterday we talked about this exercise. This exercise, when I first did it, I was in my early 20s and it made such an impact on me that I, bawled, I just sat there and I bawled my eyes out. I could not, I couldn't put to words what I was processing and feeling. And I thought, I'm, I was so scared of it, I wasn't going to do it again. And I didn't for years. And then I started doing it again and then teaching it in my classes. And it's just, it's deep. It's deep when you didn't expect it to be. Fabiana, they were 5D and thus non-matched to disease and viruses. They were in 5D. Oh, you were replying to Mark. Sorry, you guys chat away. What time is live stream tomorrow? I don't want to miss it. Anita, I don't know. What's tomorrow? Thursday? Well, I'm going to be doing a live stream channeling at 1 p.m. So I will probably do my live stream before 1 p.m. Because normally after channeling, I'm a little loopy and I just kind of chill out after that. <laughs> You're welcome, Rob Holmes. Hi from San Francisco. 
All right, George, what's your perspective on negative ionization versus positive ionization? God, this is where I wish Dershna Patel was here. If you guys like that really ion, geeky, solid, in it, deep conversations, um, unscripted way is the place to go on Facebook. Um, George, I actually don't know how to put my two cents in on that one. And I'm really sorry. But I'll be the first to admit when I don't know something. And I think this is it. So, but thank you for asking. We have another question. I'll jump in. Mary can be used to heal another if it's what I think, the flame exercise. Um, no, it's more of getting connected. Carrie found her candle. Hi, Carrie Reeser. You're gonna love this. Find your candle. Okay, do you think you guys all have your candle? You're ready to do this? I will say that after this exercise, I will stay silent and I'll probably just wave and I'm gonna sign off because I want you guys to just stay in your moment, not have to worry about what I'm, you know, blabbing on or sharing or putting out there. This is time for you. If you don't have a candle, <laughs> we don't need a flame that big. My God, how's that? Wish it was a little bit sharper for you guys, but That's what it is. It'd be great if I had something dark to put in front of me. Um, but it doesn't look like I have anything like that. What a day to wear yellow. Okay. I want you to get comfortable, please. And preferably, if you can light your flame and have it, which I don't right now, so you can see me, but I prefer you have it eye height. So you're directly across from your flame. Some people love putting the flame on the chair and sitting on the floor. And that's fine. You don't need to be observing me for this. So as long as your sound is on, you can step away from the screen. Put your candle up somewhere to where it's eye height. And I want your body to be comfortable. During this exercise, you don't need to be thinking about, oh, you know, your belt's too tight or your hair is itching, anything like that. Monotasking is where we can get the mind only to focus on one thing. This exercise has three parts. I did write the mantra on the post. And what we're going to do in the first part, we're going to say, I see the light, which is a statement. And you're seeing it right here. I see the light. I'm going to say it out loud. I'd like for you to say it out loud you don't have to sync up with me, but I would like for you to find your rhythm. And we're going to repeat this and repeat this and to repeat this when there's nothing else in your world except you seeing the light. You'll feel a shift in your energy. You'll feel a calmness. And yes, when you feel the calmness, there's going to be some other response in the back of your head that's like, oh, wow. And in that moment, I'll shift. And I'll shift into, the light is in me. The light is in me. I won't overpronounce it, but I'll say the light is in me. The light is in me. The light is in me. And I'm going to repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. And I might repeat it for minutes until I feel a shift. And then after that shift, we're going to do the last statement, which is, I am the light. I am the light. So those are the three phases. I see the light, the light is in me, I am the light. And the shift of your energy, when you monotask, everything about you, all five senses, every power up in your brain, your whole energetic field is focused on just the one task of seeing the light. And then you'll feel a shift in your body when you bring that light inside of you. And then you'll feel a shift when you identify that you are the light. There is nothing separate between you and this light. You are indeed the light. Okay, so we're going to speak out loud. Get comfy. Wiggle your shoulders. If you have glasses on and they're uncomfortable, anything, anything uncomfortable. 
you have shoes on right now and you can slide them off where you are, try that because you're going to be moving energy down and through you. And when you have your shoes off, the secondary chakras at the bottom of your feet are open and a little bit more free in exchanging energy. You guys ready? Okay, light your flame if it's not already lit. Get comfortable. And again, after this exercise, I'm just going to sign off. Let's do it. Check your beds again. Yes, thank you, Shelly Ham. Buddha belly. Okay, get soft. Relax. Pay attention to your breath coming in and out. Call on your angels, guides, friends, and relatives to come forward to surround you, to support you. Ask for protection. Give thanks and gratitude for the opportunity. Take a nice deep breath in, and we're going to begin. I see the light, 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 I see the light. I see the light, 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 I see the light. 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 The light is in me. 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 
The light is in me. The light is in me. The light is in me. The light is in me. The light is in me. I am the light. 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 Hold that 